I come from a music background and an illustration background, um, but I make all sorts of things. I wrote and illustrated the original story for something out of nothing. The Hepworth Gallery suggested that we make it into an animation. I wrote the music with my friend and collaborator, Luca Caruso. I wrote something out of nothing based on the tragic death of Barbara Hepworth's eldest son and me trying to understand what it must have felt like to start making in memory of that person. In the place that Paul had loved the most stood 19 stones and the sign that read, Love Remembers. I was approached by the Hepworth Wakefield and Orlando Weeks um, Orlando already had a illustrated story about Barbara Hepworth's life and work and I just wanted to try and keep it as close to that so the film ended up being around 2,000 separate ink drawings so uh, yeah, a, a big pile of drawings in the end. I kind of was in a strange way got introduced into Hepworth's work by her drawings actually I always liked those and then later found the sculptures as well so a bit of a strange way in. Also, my family have lots of links to this place because my mum used to work in the mill that used to be here and my dad also had a photography studio, so quite a lot of links. The villagers stared at them and the stones stared back, faceless but familiar. So my role in the animation is that I was asked by Orlando if I could narrate the piece. The English coastline is made up of three grey stripes, Sky at the top, sea at the bottom, and an in-between. I was drawn to narrating it because I, I am a fan of Barbara's work, a fan of Orlando's. It just seemed a perfect sort of, a, you know, unison, really. I think, as a female artist, we should know more about her than we do, you know, in some ways, and celebrate her a lot more. I think she's one of our most important artists, male or female, that this country's produced. We're here at the Hepworth Wakefield and we are going to be performing an extended musical version of the film Something Out of Nothing with narration from Maxine Peake and then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to have a conversation and a screening of the film and then take questions on, on the process of making it. <laughs> 